man, just working, just working, man. I, I miss y'all, I hope y'all miss me too. We've been, we been around for a while, so we had our ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? We've been in the middle, we've been mid-level with it. We've seen basically every aspect of it, so it's, it's good, it's a good sport, man, it's business, you know what I mean? Got it. Split up between Jay-Z and Dave Dash back then. It affected us a whole lot because when it was Dane when Dane was there, it was a family still, you know what I mean? It was all together. Now it's just like Def Jam, Rockefeller, you know, artists over there, artists over there, it ain't really like won't really be Rockefeller ain't even got like a staff. They own staff. It's just like it's basically like everything ran through Def Jam, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's, 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 it affected us hard, though. You know what I'm saying? Being as though we got to get out there and, and make moves for ourselves, man. You know, make them connections and all that. When, when it was a family, everything we had, we had it all there. We was that team, that number one team. You know what I'm saying? Like the Spurs right now. We was the niggas, so you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, I mean, you know, whoever won, we was winning the ring. You ain't had to go outside the camp for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everything you needed was there. You know what I'm saying? Dave had the business, you know, Jay, you was the best rapper in the game. You got it all right, and we had that state property. We was just straight off the block and so aggressive. <laughs> they, we had mobile, you know what I'm saying? We was running. Oh, I thought you wanted to get when the split up came, it kind of like slowed everything up, you know what I mean? Everybody went their own way, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know departed. Like, that's that's really how it affected us. Like, I'm on the squad now. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's the same thing. You're strong as a team than one person anytime. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that Kansas won't stop setting it off for young guys. Yeah, that's what took us here right now. Like, we put that record out. We put that record out on the mixtape ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Let's let that be known. We put that out on the mixtape. Yeah, and it took off. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no, we ain't, we ain't the spec. Seven, eight thousand 8,000 spins, nominated for a Grammy, take out moms, <laughs> put the Grammys out of Kali, you know what I mean? Or for one joint, that's what got us, you know, went up to the door, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so from there, how did grinding back in the day change from grinding now? From grinding back in the day to grinding now, well, it was, it was, back in the day, it was like, doing it for fun, like, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was fun. Straight off the block, you never had nothing, so, we working our way towards it. But grinding now is like bam. You 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 once you once you have the setback for us like brothers from another. That's our second album. You take a hit. I'm pretty sure everybody understood that. You know with some of that. That's like probably sixty seventy thousand first week. That ain't good. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't our wasn't all our fault. You know what I mean? I take a little bit of blame for it because you you can't just blame the whole thing. I ain't just one of them guys that's just really blaming push that out. Whatever. You know what I mean? But at the same time. They relied on the machine, on Rockefeller, just just being the name, thing it is that big that we could just sell a hundred thousand out the gate instead of going hard and putting the groundwork that we needed to, and the left us in the awkward position. We was still, now we got to get back. You know what I'm saying? We just step back now. It's about to get back. So it's like it ain't fun no more. It's fun, but it takes fun out of it when people playing with your business. It's like this is a job, man. You know what I mean? It's nine to five, man. It went from being a nice sport to a nine to five hard working job. Okay, where do you, you gotta wake up and deal with your bosses every day? <laughs> what do you think hip hop is today compared to what it was last couple of years? I mean, I still say that good level. You know what I'm saying? It's good sport. I like to see, I like to see whether no matter who it is, man, as long as you're black, made out the hood, you're getting that money. You know what I'm saying? You turn it over to something positive. I like to see everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doing it big. I ain't got nothing against the South. What the South doing is a great thing. You know what I mean? You know, the ball move, man. When the ball in your court, you got to run with it and have your fun. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of the time. It's all good, man. You just got to connect. Can't beat them joint. Fuck it. You can't hate. You know what I mean? It was a time when everybody was running up top to get deals. Now you like run down south. Alright, now you don't gotta answer this question if you don't want to, but what do you think about what Nas says about hip hop being dead? To me. What do you think about it? I mean Is it dead? No, nah, have fun. Is it dead? I'm right here. Neef right there. Sparks right here. Shit. It ain't dead. I mean, as far as 
his from his perspective, he might look at it as dead. I mean, you know, he had his time. Now as a legend, he put his work in. He might be done with the game. I mean, I can't. That's how he feel. As far as me, nah, it's shit. It's just, it's just birth. Just we just gave birth to it. It's the rebirth of it right here. You looking at it? What can we be expecting from young guns on their property? Nothing but the best, man. From me right now, working on a solo album, putting together his title now and never. So it's a monster, man. It's a classic. You know, I had probably about a year, year and a half on the outside looking in, nothing but time. You know, so I just, you know, it's just working, just getting it in. God, I got a chance to sit down and watch the two for a second. You know what I mean? You know when you're rolling, when you when you up and running, you don't get to watch TV, you don't get to see nothing that's going nothing. You lost, but I, you know, I ain't had nothing but time, so yeah. So y'all pretty established, so you think the struggle is over on getting your music played, or is it always there? Nah, it's, just, it's always there, but we want here to what? It's always there. The struggle, the struggle never leaves. The struggle never leaves. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it get, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a bigger, bigger struggle. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Same, same, sh same shit, bigger talk. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, so, you know. Hey, man. I will look. Hey, next question. Short, about to go out. Now, I know y'all got millions of fans out there. Thousands, of course, out there waiting for y'all to come out right now. What, if anything, do y'all got to say to your fans? I love them. I miss them. I'm back to do my thing now. They're never coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the boy. Pretty Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Hey, hey. We holding down for that exclusive. Giving you all that exclusive for exclusive magazine. If you understand what I said, that's good. If you didn't, it don't matter. Anyway, how at your boy. Go cop that Pretty Ricky album, Late Night Special. Go cop the ringtone, you know what I'm saying? Just text PR to 33133. I got it right here. Yeah, PR to 33133. <laughs> And we got a new single called Love Like Honey, so request that thing. PrettyRicky.com, MySpace.com slash PrettyRicky. Look out for our new groups, Meeting Bones, Butterfly.